and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the glorious passion of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to the joys of paradise. Amen. Daily Novena Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, true God and true man, our first parents, Adam and Eve, disobeyed the will of the Father, and so sin and death entered the world. By your obedience to the will of the Father, you willingly underwent your passion and death for the salvation of mankind and through your glorious resurrection has accomplished our redemption. As we make this novena, we remember the many sufferings you have endured for us. We particularly recall the humiliations you endured when Pilate abandoned you to the crowd by saying, Ichi Omo, behold the man you are demanding to be crucified. I wash my hands of this man's blood. Pilate handed you over to the crowd, even though he knew that you were innocent and washed his hands to absolve himself of your blood. Grant, O Lord, that amidst the many uncertainties of our life on earth, we may be discouraged or courageous enough to stand for what is true and just in our society. Through your most holy passion, we beseech you to grant us the graces we need this day. Mention your petition. Through your most holy wounds, heal us of all our infirmities and give us health of mind, body, and soul. Through your most glorious passion, bring us all to the joys of paradise. Amen. Litany of the Passion. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Jesus brought before Annas and Caiaphas, have mercy on us. Jesus accused by false witnesses, have mercy on us. Jesus declared guilty of death, have mercy on us. Jesus thrice denied by Peter, have mercy on us. Jesus delivered up to Pilate, have mercy on us. Jesus despised and mocked by Herod, have mercy on us. Jesus clothed in a white garment, have mercy on us. Jesus rejected for Barabbas, have mercy on us. Jesus torn with scourges, have mercy on us. Jesus bruised for our sin, have mercy on us. Jesus crowned with thorns, have mercy on us. Jesus demanded for crucifixion by the Jews, have mercy on us. Jesus loaded with the heavy weight of the cross, have mercy on us. Jesus led like a sheep for the slaughter, have mercy on us. Jesus stripped of thy garments, have mercy on us. Jesus fastened with nails to the cross, have mercy on us. Jesus promising paradise to the penitent thief, have mercy on us. Jesus commending that beloved disciple to thy mother as her son, have mercy on us. Jesus, obedient even to death of the cross, have mercy on us. Jesus, first with the lands, have mercy on us. Jesus, taken down from the cross, have mercy on us. Jesus, laid in the sepulcher, have mercy on us. Jesus, rising gloriously from the dead, have mercy on us. Jesus, ascending into heaven, have mercy on us. Jesus, our advocate with the Father, have mercy on us. Jesus, who will come to judge the living and the dead, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. We adore you, O Christ, and praise you, because by the Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who has appointed you only begotten Son to be the Savior of the world through His passion, death, and resurrection, grant that we may so venerate this prize of our salvation and by its might be so defended upon on earth from the evils of this present life that in heaven we may rejoice in His everlasting fruit who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. Closing prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the sinless, innocent one, yet you willingly took upon yourself all the sins of humanity, 
past, present, and future. For our sake, you willingly accepted death, death on the cross. You are our merciful Savior, who unlike Pilate, will not wash your hands of us, nor will you condemn us. Look upon us, poor sinners, who humbly beg for your forgiveness for our many sins and iniquities. Grant to me be merciful and compassionate to our fellow men, as you are merciful and compassionate to us. Look upon us, redeemed by your most precious blood, and saved by your loving obedience to the will of the Father. Grant that we, too, following your example, may be obedient and open to the will of the Father in heaven. Grant the prayers and petitions that we, your brothers and sisters, present to this day. At the end of our journey here on earth, we may be numbered among the saints, blessed in heaven, where you live and reign together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Orasya Imperata against COVID-19, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calumso, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Monica, pray for us. Prayer for the 500th anniversary of the arrival of the Santo Nino image in Cebu. Senor Santo Nino de Cebu, you are the abiding presence of the Father in our journey of faith. As we celebrate the 500th anniversary, of the arrival of your miraculous image on our shores, we humbly ask you to send the Holy Spirit upon us so that we become your faithful apostles in the vast and complex arena of today's world. May our Christian faith and our deep devotion to you become the source of renewal in our society as we go along our pilgrim way to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Senor Santo Nino de Cebu, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We withdraw you. We proclaim your mark. Standing here in the midst of us. We will raise you how we are. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit.
In this Eucharistic sacrifice, we pray for a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts the world, that God our Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, grant success to those working to eradicate this scourge. Help us all to persevere in faith and welcome to His kingdom all who pass away because of this disease. We also remember all the intentions of the pilgrims and devotees of Señor Santo Niño. We also remember all the missionaries, the catechists and the LML in different parts of our nation, especially as we celebrate the uh, Feast of uh, St. Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to mighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Perseverance shown by your martyrs, St. Lawrence Ruiz and his companions, in serving you and their neighbor, since those persecuted for the sake of righteousness are blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, There shall yet come peoples, the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of one city shall approach those of another and say, Come, let us go to implore the favor of the Lord, and I too will go seek the Lord. Many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to implore the favor of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, In those days, ten men of every nationality, speaking different tongues, shall take hold, yes, take hold of every Jew by the edge of his garment and say, let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. The Word of the Lord. Then see to God. God is with us. 
God is with us. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob, glorious things are said of you, O city of God. God is with us. I tell of a chant and Babylon among those that know the Lord of Galicia, Tyre and Ethiopia this man was born there God is with us and of Zion they shall say one and all were born in her and he who has established her is the most high oh Lord God is with us they shall know when the peoples are in Rome, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. God is, is with us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him, because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. My dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, especially those uh, following us in live streaming. Being baptized Catholics, we are uh, obliged to preach the gospel of the Lord, not only by words, but also by actions. And it's not only the responsibility of the priests or the catechists, or those people uh, serving the church, but all of us. But it's also a reality that in preaching or witnessing the word of the Lord, in that serving that love is not easy. Mostly, or most often times, we experience um, unwelcome people. That's what we heard actually in the gospel uh, to read to us from 
Luke chapter 9, 51 to 56. Our Lord is not stranger in that experience, not being welcomed. And we understand because Samaritans and Jews, they will not look eye to eye. They're separate or by their ethnicity and by their culture, they're different. That's exactly opposite to what we heard in the first reading when Prophet Zechariah come let us go to implore the favor of the Lord and I too will go to seek the Lord many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem but those people in Samaria they were invited by the Lord but they will not come they did not welcome the Lord thus it's so these uh, two disciples asked the Lord Jesus, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Very human. When people will not welcome us, especially we do our tasks, service of love, then we say, Merise, or we just curse. Very human. Because we're not welcome. We are not welcome and we are not loved, appreciated. But is that really the way of the Lord? Jesus said, Let the Holy Spirit touch their hearts. And that is our role now, my dear brothers and sisters. Let's do our part in preaching the word of the Lord in the service of love. Even we are not appreciated, even we are betrayed, abandoned. Let the Holy Spirit do the work. Because we are just partakers of that mission of the salvation. We give, uh, God gave us different talents. And not all of us are the same. Some love to serve the Lord in their material things. Some love to serve the Lord in their spiritual abundance through prayers some will serve the Lord because of their strength some will serve the Lord silently and that's the making and building up of the kingdom of God we do our parts in building that kingdom of God even we are not welcomed even we are abandoned we are not appreciated because it's not our works actually to touch each other's heart. It is the Holy Spirit. Let us just do our part in preaching the word of God, not only by words, but mostly, most especially by actions. Because St. James said, faith that has no actions is dead. May we be guided by the examples of our saints, especially St. Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila, a husband who sacrificed in preaching the gospel in the other lands and paying respect to the Lord with his blood. May we be a martyrs also in our different way, especially in our family, by being a catechist, partakers of that word of God, and sharing this to all, especially to our young. And it's so hard to be a catechist or a preacher nowadays because of this pandemic. But it might be an avenue also for us to use the social media or the internet for us to search more on our faith by catechizing ourselves, by studying our catechism, the teaching of the church. And we use this avenue, this social media also to teach others. When we click those catechism, then we share it with our friends. When we do our part also in sharing and preaching the gospel of the Lord. May we be a person who welcomes each other even we are not being welcomed. And only through that, we experience the real presence of the Holy Spirit. We are not welcome, 
but we welcome still others. We were not love, but we still love them. Even we are in pain. Because the Lord came here, came here in our world, saving us by stretching His arms on that cross. May we also be partakers of that sacrifice. Only by that, then we welcome the Lord in our life. Then we also share that sacrifice to others by our preaching and by our witnessing. May we be guided by the service of love through welcoming others and not cursing them. May we be a truly ambassador of that love of God. And let God, the Holy Spirit, nourish what we have done, what we have preached. Because He only, the one tasked by God to shower graces to each and every one of us. Amen. Please all stand. God is patient and aware of our miseries. Let us pray to Him to help us on the way of conversion and renewal. Father, make us grow in the image of Your Son. Father, make, make us, us grow, grow in the image, image of, of your, your Son, that the Christian faithful may heed the call to faith and repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us grow us in the image of Your Son that God may give us the courage to commit ourselves to the liberation in Christ of all those imprisoned in their selfishness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, may us grow in the image of your Son. That those whose hearts are empty and cold may discover happiness in the love of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, may us grow in the image of your Son that the sick in mind or body may have permanent healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. That a servant of God, Theophilo Kamomot, Bishop, be raised to the altar of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. For all the intentions and prayers offered, by the pilgrims and devotees of Senor Santo Nino, let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. For peace in our country and in the whole world, let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. For all in direct patient care, give them strength for their service, let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. For all those isolated in their homes, sustain them in joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. For decision makers at all levels, send them your wisdom and good counsel to serve their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. For all those who have died because of the pandemic and those who grieve their loss in isolation, comfort them in their sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. God of compassion and love, hear the cries of the world trapped in suffering and sin. Through your Son who makes all good things possible, we ask you for the grace to follow him always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Good in the moon, news, and tongue in the moon, and the Oh, 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 oh,
and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice through hands for the praise and glory of his name for good and the good of all his holy church. Receive Holy Father the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs and grant that we your servants may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised and their very sufferings but wonders of your might, in your mercy you give ardor to their fate, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy. created rightly gives you praise for to your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Who would proclaim the Lord and profess your resurrection and say you come again? Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the mystic, the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving 
this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May we make, make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, most his spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint San Lorenzo Luis and companions, and with all the saints, in whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself o all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, and their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as sin is. Give us this day our daily bread And forgive us our trespasses As we forgive those who trespass against us And lead us not into temptation But deliver us Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For there is the kingdom, the power and the glory, Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who we'll live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you Love of God, you 
him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but the Lord say the word and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrifice soon to be consecrated. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that being nourished by the bread of heaven and made one body in Christ, may never be separated from his love. And after the example of your holy martyrs, Lorenzo de Manila and companion, may bravely overcome all things for the sake of him who loved us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits roaming around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy Angels in Heaven, pray for us. Blessing of religious articles, let us pray. God, by whose word all things are made holy, pour out your blessing on these religious articles and grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law and with the spirit of thanksgiving may experience by your power health in body and protection in soul as they invoke your most holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for coming in this celebration of the Eucharistic celebration of the Mass and for all those people also joining us in live streaming. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless to you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forward, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Good morning. Come into His presence, thanksgiving in your heart, and give Him praise, and give Him praise. Come into His presence, with thanksgiving in your heart, your voice is raised, your voice is raised. Give glory and honor and power and to give Jesus the name.